The New York Giants haven't played a game since being blown out by the Philadelphia Eagles on Thursday night football. 10 days ago, but because of that loss, dropping Big Blue to one in five in New York, that keeps you in the news. Well, I had the opportunity this week to sit down with the Giants top pick in this year's draft, Saquon Barkley. The rookie is having an outstanding start to his career, but the losing is a topic he's not used to. How difficult has the start of the season been with these losses? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, it sucks. Um, it sucks. Uh, I'm a competitor. We're all competitors in that locker room, and we hate losing. And one of five is not something that we're proud of, proud to be right now. But uh, like I said, you never know. It's a, it's a long season. We still got ten games to go. Um, we can get streaky at any point. Uh, our division is still up to grabs, to be completely honest. But uh, my mindset is just continue to come in and work every single day, try to lead, and uh, believe in each other and believe in the team. You, I mean, you said it sucks. I mean, when you hear owner John Maris say he's embarrassed about the start, what do you, how do you respond to that? Uh, I agree, um, because we, we have a standard. Um, we have a standard that we live up to, especially, you know, being a New York Giant. Uh, the New York Giants are known as being one of the best franchises, and um, that's where we want to be. Here's Barkley making a cut. Good night. He's gone. No flags. Touchdown, Giants. Coming off such an incredible game personally, though, you almost had the 100 100 with the receiving and the rushing. Have you been able to savor what you've been able to do so far yet at all? Um, nah, not really. Mm -hmm. And I never really, even when I was in college or even when we were winning, um, you know, would really get the chance through a season. You kind of notice that through. Throughout the throughout during the end of the season or after the season, uh, when you look back of the accomplishments that you're doing, and I mean I'm aware of it because I'm on social media and I've seen the things people are saying, whatever pace work I'm going to break or whatever, and all that is cool. But at the end of the day, you got to live in you got to live in the moment, and I'm a big believer in living the moment and uh, coming to work every single day and just continue to get better. What are you guys trying to do to move things forward, like you said, and figure out ways to finish these games? Um, by coming to work every single day, and like you said, the, the biggest thing that we, we need to do better as a team is finish. Um, you know, we, we finish some of those games. Our record is completely different, and we're in a whole different people that how they view us in a whole different mindset. Uh, and we're that close. We're, we're really that close. Um, you know, we and we just got to continue to believe in each other, and that's that's what I think it really is. Believe in each other. Don't lose faith. Um, like I said, you never know what can happen, um, and continue to build. You're such a positive guy. How do you deal with some of that Twitter stuff, though? You know, because it's, it's, you know, it's happened, happened. It's mostly negative sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a lot of negative, um, yeah. but it's also a lot of positive. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's who, who are they? Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, and what I mean, who are they? It could be anybody. It could be a, a random fan. It could be a, a ESPN reporter. It could be this or that. It's, it, they're not me. They're not the teammates in my locker room. They're not my mom. They're not my dad. Um, they're not my, in my, my inner circle. So their opinion really doesn't matter to me. Um, but your teammates, though, I mean, you've, you've, even as a rookie, you've really established yourself as a leader. When you see a lot of people coming against Eli Manning, the critics, etc., um, how do you guys deal with that behind the scenes? How do you support somebody like that, a two-time Super Bowl champion? Yeah, um, well, one, it just shows me that what my mom and my dad taught me as a little kid, uh, no matter if you're doing good or bad, people's always going to have something negative to say about you. And I think the way Eli handles it uh, is, you know, just a class act and it's something that you admire and uh, you know whatever people say about Eli like I said their opinion doesn't matter uh, it matters the opinion that we have in the locker room and I can tell you right now that we believe in Eli um, he's a great player um, he's a great leader and you know as a young guy I'm gonna continue watching and learn from him